Uh, I'm from Montpellier, southern France, so it's probably like a four hour drive from Barcelona, Spain. And if I take the bullet train, it's probably like three hours and 15 minutes from Paris, so it's really southern, but southern in the middle, not on the Atlantic part and not all the way to Italy, more in the Mediterranean basin. Well, because it's incredibly difficult to find the exact word to, to really describe the emotions or the feelings. There are some words, you know, in German, for example, that you'll never be able to find the exact equivalent in English or even French and vice versa. I find that fascinating sometimes. I, I always, there's always this, you know, question in the back of my mind, why? Why can it be? Why can it just be a word for a word? And that's also something I talk a lot in my classes. Like, you know, sometimes I'll just have a five-word sentence in, in Spanish and I'll equal three words in English or vice versa. It's like, why? It's like, it just is a different language. It just is. And what's funny is like in my classes sometimes students are like, oh, how do you say this word? And I've noticed that it's, it really doesn't stick with them well if you just tell them the word. And instead what I've done lately is, that, you know, you'll go about your research tonight or tomorrow when you have some time. I'll do my research and we'll compare tomorrow. I think patience. Um, I'm a very patient person and I think teaching requires a lot of patience so it's probably a good thing that I have a lot of it. <laughs> Kindness and honesty hands down. These are the two uh, values that I really cherish um, and I believe I have as well. I love observing the world around me. Um, from the passengers on the subway, the passengers' faces on the subway, to uh, the colors of the leaves changing. I really love colors. Um, to the change of light throughout the day. I feel like it has such an impact on the building and the way we perceive the world outside. And it really affects us um, in terms of like our mood, for example, or how we're feeling. Uh, so I'm very sensitive to that as well. I was, you know, much younger, I was probably six years old. There's that vivid um, image of my brother. I'm reading a book uh, in my brother's bed, and he's probably like one year old or one and a half, and I'm six. And I'm reading a book to him as if, you know, I'm his teacher. I'm trying to, you know, teach him something, teach him something or maybe share, you know, a funny story with him. And I'm actually, unfortunately, holding the book upside down. So you can tell that I can't read quite yet, but I have that. Uh, passion for you know saying something or explaining something to, to someone. Seeing and doing for sure. Um, I need to be shown to be able to reproduce something. So if you just you know tell me something, I'll forget probably. If you show me something and then you actually show me how to do it, and then I'm able to do it in front of you and maybe be walked through it. I'll feel better about it probably, I'll feel more comfortable, and then I'll probably be able to reproduce it in front of someone else and pass it off to someone else, I think. Keep trying, um, give it time, um, and you'll get better at it. And I think that's something that I try to enforce in my classes.